What's up guys, and of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Sky Render. And well, today we're going against the one and only Shady Penguin. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know what to say. It took me some time to uh, set this up with him. Of course, you know, we are differentiating in, I think, that about eight hours between one another. And, you know, him being extremely busy, which means that, you know... I was out a good time, I guess, and um, he actually was, you know, nice enough to uh, really, really try to make this happen to my 200, so I'm extremely thankful, and um, yeah, that was definitely, definitely a fun match. I was so nervous, uh, I can't really stress it enough. I'm often not like this, you know, being very, very stressed before a battle, but Shady Penguin is one of those people that I know is, um, he's, you know, how to put it? He's very smart at the game, you know, he's very relaxed, you know, can phase off whatever he's up against, you know, in a very, very calm way, which means that I really can't, um, I can't force his hand, which is something that makes me very uncomfortable. And of course, you know, being my 200th battle and all, I really, really wanted something to showcase, and I'm very, very glad that this battle turned out the way it did. It was a very, very, <laughs> very hexy game, to be honest. A lot of crits, you know... Shader Penguin being a crit magnet at all is, um, yeah, it's <laughs> it was a spectacular event, to be honest. Um, a little short story, it's a longer intro than usual, because it is my 200th, after all. Um, I actually been following Shady Penguin for, um, I guess, one and a half year now. Uh, I started following him just as the X and Y was started, and yeah, I always liked his stuff. He's one of the few people that I'm actually still, like, watching from the old days. Um, a lot of people, you know, that play in the higher tiers, how I kind of sold out. But Shady Penguin has always been consistent with new material that are unique and fun to watch. You know, a lot of entertainment value. So, yeah, I'm definitely a fan of this guy. I really am. And much like Alice has seen on, you know, kind of in the same boat with those guys that are powerful trainers that can bring a lot of humor to their battles. It's something that's very hard to pull off. And it really becomes entertainment. Then they have the following... For that very reason, if you ask me, they're good battlers, but also are very, 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 you know, open up to to himself. You know, it it bring a, brings a lot of a lot of fun stuff, really. So, like I said, huge. I'm extremely glad that this battle actually went down. I really am. So, with all that said, we're actually gonna have the team preview, of course. So, looking through his team, he got the Feraligator, Rotomaw, Pangoro, Drapion, Magmortar, and uh, Mesprit. So, Magmortar is definitely going to be the, his huge, biggest threats in this battle, because it can kind of rip through my team very, very easily. And Feraligator can be a big threat if I don't have my heal list inbound. It's very, very tough to deal with. Um, I'm using Pure Ugly, Malamar, Kubalion, Mega Pidgeot, Heliolisk, and Valplume. So, you know, we got actually good cover here. I am extremely weak to fire, and the only thing or Pokemon that can deal with that rather properly is my pure ugly with thick fat, but also Malamar, who has the assault vest, can deal with that rather good. But I have three Pokemon that can't deal with it, of course, Helios being dry skin and all. So that is something I need to keep in bound with, and I actually need to take out the Malamar or the Magmortar fast, really fast. And because, it, like I said, it will rip through my team rather effortlessly. And other than that, I do expect him to bring the Mesprit at the get-go, so I have no reason not to bring the Pure Ugly. And Pure Ugly outspeeds everything on his team. So it's going to be a win condition to have that around and do some ship damage before Kubalion come in and finish the game off. So with that in mind, guys, let's go. So yeah, like I said, I was really nervous, and I just had a game plan on my own that you know I was going to pull through... Um, fake out with my pure ugly then a knockoff and then a u-turn that was like the three turns i had in my head like that was the one i was gonna work with and then you know feeling calm enough to actually do the right predictions so the fake out there of course stopping the mesprit from the potential stones and i see the leftovers so now i definitely know it's stones is coming up and i have no real way of stopping it and really i have no need not to to be honest i am not that weak to stone besides my mega pidgeot so the knockoff does some fair damage, I mean, I can kind of see that I'm not range of killing with a U-turn, 
but I'm gonna do it anyway, expecting him to go for a psychic move, or rather, I know this thing has a U-turn, you know, it's a um, utility poke, uh, Mesprit, but that thing slipped my mind, like I said, I was really nervous, and you know, I brought in the Malamar here, and he's of course gonna go for U-turn, and um, basically, face Paul moment, because of course, Seratul, the Malamar, could deal with so many pokes on his team, and I just fought that thing off. And at this point, I really, really felt that I, I, I'm in trouble, like, I'm in trouble for the first turn. I really thought I would play aggressive enough to get momentum. But, um, yeah, Shady Penguin is just as aggressive, which means that he might actually be the better player when it comes to these aggression plays, and I really started to, you know, think like that. So, here I really just wanted my Saladin, or uh, my heal is to go for a Volt Switch, Specs 1, and then expecting him to go for an EQ, so I'm gonna bring the Mega Pidgeot, you know, getting a free turn to this, and uh, he goes for a knockoff. Yeah, he kinda does. And, uh, damn it, that does way too much, like, way too much, and uh, I was definitely, I'm not going to have to speed it um, when I'm Mega Volt, so I decided to bring Kubalion and basically hoping for him to go for a poison jab or a cross fang but no he goes for a taunt here and uh, you know that's really really fine I am <laughs> I have no aggression whatsoever to it but I realized that a close combat might not take it out so I am actually better off foddering off my mega Pidgeot and um, really I was hoping for an EQ here I won't lie but I still won't able to outspeed because my speed is inbound after my mega evolution so he goes for another knockoff, and I really, really didn't want my um, Kubelon to take a knockoff. Even though I have Justify, I don't really want to lose my Scarf, because it is extremely important this battle that I am outspeeding everything in this team. Uh, because my Pure Ugly can take really that much damage, to be honest. And um, Saladin, even though it's fast, it's not you know, that ultra fast as it can be dealt with. So he kind of fought off his Drapion here, not feeling comfortable to... Um, make a Pokemon take that move. Obviously I had the Rotom Heat or the Rotom Maw, but I could have dealt with that with my with my Valplume. So I'm gonna bring him this the biggest word here. And he's gonna bring the Sansuke, the Pangoro. And uh, yeah not too comfortable here. <laughs> so I'm gonna go for a fake out and then I'm actually I'm very forced to go for a U-turn. And uh, I think I scored the first crit of the game here. If I remember correctly. Yeah there it is. And um, yeah, I saw no reason to send in. I was extremely scared. So I'm gonna bring in Valplume, which is defensively invested, and uh, try to cope with this. And uh, yeah, very nice play of my opponent to go for the parting shot. Uh, no reason for him not to try to stay in. He couldn't go for an ice punch, and that would have been just terrible. But I can cope with that with the, the defensive Valplume and retaliate. So the Joker is coming in, the monster of this battle. This is a scarfed. Very, very threatening, overheating mag mortar, and um, yeah, I was actually thinking I could take an overheat, or rather, I was thinking of a lava plume. I knew I could take that, but he's gonna bring for the double the strength and go for the overheat, getting a crit, and I'm actually living that, which is kind of cool, but at the same time, it's kind of terrible. And uh, my opponent did the right play here. I couldn't risk going around it, so I went for a fake out. But he's just gonna fall off his Mesprit. And uh, yeah. You know, had Mesprit been gone and I kept my Malamar, I would definitely have been in a much better position because. Yeah, I really feeling that. I have to work around it. So the Joker's coming back in. I have nothing that can take an overheat. Um, I'm basically. Everything on my team now is semi weak to this, actually. So. I'm just gonna fake my strength here with my Kubalion and forcing him to switch. I'm gonna go for Volt Switch instead of a close combat because I can't really risk over close combat not killing it and the overheat will be enough to take me out because I will lose special defense. So I kept that in mind and uh, yeah, like I said, gonna go for a freaking Volt Switch here because I know I need this. I must do it. There's no reason for me not to. I need all the momentum and you know, the three switches I can get here because he definitely have the stronger team matchup right now and I'm gonna bring Lingen uh, the Valplume and um, yeah I'm gonna actually get um, crit here too with my Sludge Bomb and take out his Rotom after he do a will wisp but it won't matter because his Magmortar will still come safely in with an overheat and annihilate another Pokemon so the Sludge Bomb is coming and smack 
I mean, this Valplum can deal with these kind of pokes. It really can. It's it's a marvelous creature to watch. But yeah, like I said, the Magmortar, the Joker, the Monster, the Shady, Shady, Shady Magmortar is coming in, and uh, yeah. I'm gonna be completely honest here, I was in a position where I basically, like, you know, I, I definitely have lost here, I have, I think, two Pokemons left, both being the um, Heliolisk and Cobalion, both of them extremely weak to fire, so, yeah, Sal is coming in, and uh, it's too risky for me to go for a Volt Switch, and really, I need to do as much damage as possible, and hope for a miss from the Overheat, but he will decide to switch out, and, uh, yeah! I'm fine with that, so I'm gonna go for an Hyper Voice, and it is enough to take on the Sasuke, or Sanosuke. I'm butchering that name, aren't I? <laughs> so anyway, now comes the real phase off. Can I take on this Magmortar? And uh, he missed the first Overheat, which is really, really nice. It's 90% after all. But a Hyper Voice is not enough to kill it. It really isn't. I need another miss. If I'm even gonna be close to finish that game, and what do you know? What do you know? He missed two times in a row with a 90% accuracy move. That is just terrible. I mean, come on. <laughs> so of course I'm able to take it out. And yeah, Saladin just went from being the Death Potter to actually becoming the champion of this battle. So his last Pokemon is the Potter Rock, and it is the Free Alligator. I'm just gonna go from Hyper Voice. And uh, he's gonna go for Dragon Dance, which is the right move to do. And hoping for my Cobalion not being Scarf, because this thing usually packs both Super Power or Earthquake. And uh, considering Cobalion's defenses, it could be enough to take me out. So it's not a bad play at all, in my view. Uh, so he's gonna take out that Pokemon, and uh, yeah, my Cobalion is gonna come in. And uh, like I said there, I am scarfed after all, and not taking a knockoff from the Drapion will actually kind of matter because now I am able to outspeed and finish off this game. You know, I'm gonna even score a crit here just to really, really rub it in. <laughs> and I you know, wow, the accent is battle. Wow, I, I can't really stress that enough. It was really a really, really fun game, and uh, yeah. I won't see myself as, you know, the honest winner here. It was kind of obvious that had he not missed the overheats that I would have lost. <laughs> so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this battle. I did that a lot. I actually, I, the turnout in the last few turns really, really uh, made this game quite funny. I was actually kind of fine with losing here. I was definitely feeling that uh, I could probably take out the Magmortar uh, but then it will have the last phase of being Cavalion against Feraligator, and Feraligator being the way the superior poke um, with the um, super effective moves and all, and me losing defensive with close combos, which I would have been forced to go with at the end there. Um, so I would actually have been really, really fine with that, but hey, I'm fine winning too. But like I said, I really don't feel like this was an honest win, and I. Yeah, it just. Wow. <laughs> two overheats in a row, yeah, that, that really makes the game, doesn't it? And, you know, Shady Penguin is definitely one of those people that, you know, he took it well, like, he could laugh about it, and I really laughed about it, because I, I knew, <laughs> I knew from my heart that uh, Dao Kong should have been <laughs> another thing, and really, me losing my, both my Pidgeot and the Malamar that early in the game, because I couldn't really focus on what my opponent was trying to achieve, uh, really, really dented me throughout this battle. I was basically trying to recover, and uh, I think I got the hacks to, you know, make that happen. But at the same time, I really believe my opponent did some very, very good moves, and in the end, actually, come pretty darn close to annihilating me very, very early on. So I was glad I could get around that. I really, really am very glad I could have pulled that off. So, yeah, I want to thank Jonathan on the Chainy Penguin for this battle. It was definitely a fun time. Next time I'm going up against him, it's going to be, you know, on his regards, of course, when he has something he's going to ask for on his Twitter. So make sure to follow him on Twitter if you want to battle him in the future. And, uh, yeah, check out his channel, which I know you already have. Why wouldn't you? He has uh, 200 times the, the followers that I have. In. So um, it's very likely you already have been following him, and for the right reasons. He is extremely funny to watch, and, like I said, huge fan for that very reason. Entertainment value is is something I really, really can appreciate. I, 
it's it's something else to watch. It really, really is. So yeah, like I said, yet again, thank you, Shader Penguin, for this battle. Um, not often you get battles like this to, to upload. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys liked it, and if you do, don't of course forget to leave a like and you know share this battle on Twitter and stuff like that. It's gonna be my two hundreds after all, which is just awesome. And um, yeah, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And remember, the sky is the limit. So have a good day, guys, and take care, right? Bye.